In today's video, I'll show you how to replace the NVIDIA Shield TV launcher with a custom launcher on a Windows computer. Check out my other video if you have a Mac. So this will completely replace the default launcher. So when you hit the home button on your remote, it'll take you to the custom launcher. In this video, the custom launcher I'm using is F Launcher, which you can see here. It's free with no ads, it's open source, and has a lot of customization. But you're free to use any custom launcher you like. The instructions will be exactly the same regardless of which launcher you use. This guide will work for all versions of the NVIDIA Shield TV. I'm using Windows 10 in this tutorial, but the process should be similar on other versions of Windows. Let's begin. First, download a custom launcher. If you don't have one in mind, you can open up the Google Play Store and search Launcher. I will be downloading F Launcher. Once you download a launcher, return to the home page and go to Settings on the top right corner. Then go to Device Preferences. Go to About, and go down to Build. Click on it seven times to launch the developer mode. You should see a message, you are now a developer. Now go back to Device Preferences, and go down to Developer Options. Go down to Network Debugging and turn it on. Wait for an IP address to appear and write down the full IP address. We'll need this later. Now switch over to your computer and download the SDK platform tools for Windows. I'll have all the download links in the description box. So scroll down, accept the terms, and download a file. Once it's finished, we're going to need to extract the file. You can double click the file or you can right click the file and extract it. I'm going to extract it to the downloads folder. Once it's done, go to the folder. You should see a folder called Platform Tools. Move this folder to your C drive. You can copy and paste it to your C drive, or you could just drag and drop it to your C drive. Now open Control Panel. And on the top right corner, search for Environment Variables. Click on Edit Environment Variables for your account. And under the Variable column, look for Path, highlight it, and hit Edit. Now hit New. You'll need to add the full path for the Platform Tools folder, which we moved to the C drive. So it should be C colon backslash platform hyphen tools and hit OK and hit OK. Now we're going to run command prompt. And in command prompt, enter ADB space connect followed by the full IP address from the NVIDIA Shield that we obtained earlier. You should see a failed message. Go back to your NVIDIA Shield and you should see an allowed network debugging pop-up. Hit OK. Now go back to your computer and make sure you're connected. Enter the code again. 
A D B space connect followed by the full IP address and hit enter. It should say we're connected. Now we're just going to copy and paste four lines of code into command prompt which will deactivate the default launcher. All of the lines of code will be in the description box. So copy and paste the first code and hit enter. Copy and paste the second code and hit enter. Copy and paste the third code and hit enter. And finally, copy and paste the fourth code and hit enter. Now press the home button on your remote and it should take you to the custom launcher. If you have multiple custom launchers installed, it will ask you to pick a default launcher. And that's it. If you ever want to change back to the default launcher, it's really easy. You just need to reactivate all the files that we deactivated in this tutorial. Check out my other video for instructions. I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.